What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a Midwest family. We are finally doing the long awaited stove install. So hopefully we can get it all done today. Um, I got the chimney pipe. I got some flashing. <clears throat> I got um, the cap. The transition piece from the single wall to the double wall. Um, Got some other knickknacks, but we're going to run it from there up to there. Um, so we got to find the center of this, the flue pipe on the ceiling. So I don't have a plumb bob, so I used my string line. Um, you can see my spot right there. So I got it centered in between. There's a joint right here on the on the roof line. <clears throat> so the flashing piece will be between here and here. The flashing is 24 inches wide, 24 inches long, and it's going to fit right here. At least that's the plan. So I gotta, I'm gonna make a frame a little box right here. So the flashing has something to um, be fastened to. Now this is a tin roof. And <clears throat> instead of using the rubber boot, I'm gonna use the flashing for like a, a shingled roof. Hopefully it works out. Never done this before, so I guess we'll find out. But I'm gonna get this uh, little box framed in and we'll catch you guys after I get that done. Hang out. All right, guys. Um, I apologize if I sound kind of weird. I kind of got, I don't know, got a cold or something going on. But we got the the framing kind of framed up. Uh, that's kind of how it's going to go. Obviously, it'll be more like this. Um, up at an angle. But I think our next step is going to be drill a hole in the roof. point of no return all right everybody so we're on the roof I got the flashing here um, you can see I shoved a pencil through the hole there the flashing piece I marked the halfway point this is 24 inches so it's one foot to the center I marked both sides I took a measurement from the pencil down to the gutter line and I measured up and marked both sides and then I took the level and drew a line across so we'll line up the mark on the flashing with the mark on the roof here and I'll try to like that and then we have our hole here so the idea is we're gonna cut the flashing straight across on that pencil mark just wide enough for the flashing to fit in then the upper part of the flashing will go up under this side and then this side, we will uh, get some spray foam or something to spray in there 
and we'll uh, we'll get it all sealed up. So for now, we are going to take a pencil, trace the inside here. All right, so we got stuff marked out on the inside. Um, so since I marked the inside of it for the flashing, for the flashing to fit underneath the roof pan or roof sheathing, I'm gonna have to cut this circle or this half circle a little, a little farther out than the line. Otherwise, it won't have a gap here, and we're gonna want a little bit of a gap between the roofing and uh, this cone. And then on the bottom half, we're gonna transition a little more inside this line because I don't think I have to cut all that out. Um, so we're gonna start with that. I did mark where the flashing ended so I know where to stop on both sides. So I'm gonna grab the, the cutters and we're gonna get cut. All right, let's see how bad we can do this. So I spared you the my embarrassment, um, but we got the hole cut out. So I guess we'll see how it fits. There's the flashing, just like so. That's a fairly tight fit, so that's that's pretty much the only spot right there and right there that we would ever be able to have water come in. So nice. I think it's gonna be nice. Now I gotta get my piece of wood up here, trace that out, fasten that. We're, uh, we'll be uh, cooking with peanut oil. So, stay tuned, hang out. All right guys, so we got the, the mock-up done. Uh, we got the single wall from the top of the stove up to the roof there's a transition piece to go from the single wall to the double wall we have our two inch clearance all the way around we have one stick of the double wall up just to see what it looks like and now we need to go up top and seal and fasten the flashing piece down and my long lost friend finally showed up Hello. <laughs> After most of it was already done. <laughs> <laughs> he said he was going to start between 9 and 10. And then he said he had a sore throat. And I didn't hear him. He didn't message me what he was going to start. Usually he'll always say, like, hey, I'm headed out to the garage. And then I come over. He didn't message me. So I'm, like, three hours late. But here we are. Oh, well. So we're going to take the, the double wall piece off. And then we'll fasten the, uh, the flashing piece down. I didn't clean it. Clean what? Oh, the... Go get yourself a rag. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> uh, we're really smart, guys. Alright. I'll be back.
I'll just sit up here and hold your big pipe. You're good at that. I'm good at that, yeah. I don't know what to do. I just gotta get the dirt and grease off. What is that? Simple green? Yeah. Simple brown? Whatever it is. <laughs> Used to be simple green. Yeah, that'll be fine. <laughs> professional job. <laughs> I can already tell this is killing you inside. <laughs> what? This? Perfectionism. Oh my gosh. It is very... Very much so. It's just a bunch of squirt and pray. Well, also at least it's a shot building. If it does spring a leak, it's not the end. Of it's the world. yeah, it's not gonna fuck ruin your carpet or your subfloors in your house. All right, don't slice my finger open. Sheet metal screws with the neoprene gasket on them. So, in theory, we should be leak free. Should I go up here? It's going to pull that down. It'll go right on the inside of the rib, maybe. Well, your water is going to be right here, rolling right there. I mean, as long as you don't put a big crease into it. That's going to do it That's good. Shablam! seen you satisfied with the project you've done. <laughs> uh, nope. That's the wife. Which nope. means you strive to do better always. Yeah, I guess. Who put that there? The weather should get it. It's gonna uh. be worse, yeah. <laughs> Just let the weather get it. It'll take a little while. Oh my lord. needs to be functional.
Yeah, don't go sending that down to the floor. It's not gonna fall, at least. Where's the storm collar? Downstairs. <laughs> You don't get that locked in there yet. Although it should go around it, it won't matter. Should it matter? It goes on. There you go. There you go. That's nice. Yeah, nice pipe. That's nice. Are these lock? Oh, locking ring. There. Yeah. You only need one, huh? Oh, up top too. I think too. that'll fit over there. They say they're not necessary, but they help with the aesthetics and some structural stability. So. Yeah, it looks nice. And you the peace of mind knowing it shouldn't wiggle itself apart in our earthquakes we have around here on a regular basis. Right. clean oh yeah that'll work for that we got we got the sticker pulled off so the cockle stick cork silicone 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 there <laughs> it's got to be high temp silicone okay Shit, come off. Mm, that's good i believe i can fly <laughs> Yeah, maybe take all our fingerprints off of there yeah. while we're at it. Yeah. Just for good measure. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I scratched it. Biscuits. It's all stainless, right? Yeah. Might as well take that sticker off. Focus, Mike. <laughs> Focus. Man, that stuff is strong. Silicone, man. That's a that's more of a buzz than the brake clean. <laughs> that high temp silicone around there. Oh yeah, buddy. <laughs> Woo. This ain't your Uncle Festus's brand. This is that Triple X. Now definitely seam it at the low end. Pushing it down all the way, or you could always run another bead on top of it. Yeah. Sinking down all the way. Yeah. Let me 
slaps and move it over. No one's gonna see it anyway. No. It's supposed to dry clear. Good. All right. Well, we're shorter enough. We don't need a support brace. Um, if you're, I think, 60 inches or, sh or more, you need a, a brace that goes around here to the roof for high wind conditions. Um, they do recommend maybe a snow splitter is what they call it, like a V deal that goes right here to uh, make the snow or ice go around the chimney instead of possibly slam into it mm -hmm. So that might be another Future project. Have you ever had a wood stove anywhere before? No, no first time first time Popping my cherry Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good man looks really good I'm excited Welcome back guys, so we left off, uh, we got the chimney put in, right there, runs out the top. Um, I did start making the brackets for the fan to go on the back, um, I haven't quite finished that yet, but it's been two days now since we did the chimney. So I think that's long enough for the sealant to dry or cure long enough. Um, right now, let's see. It's about 28 degrees in here. We're gonna get this puppy fired up. I'm excited. I've waited for this day for a long time and we're gonna fire it up see how it goes. You ready? Mm -hmm. But what about the fan? We'll get the fan on once we get the fire rolling. <laughs> Got the dampener open. Hopefully, this is our first. Smoke is coming out of the chimney. Is it? Mm -hmm. So, hey. Let me take that out. This is our first fire inside the building. So. All right guys, so it's been about an hour now that the stove's been running. We got the whole family out christening the stove. Uh, on the fan, I kind of got it mocked up. I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave it like this or not. Um, I welded some angle iron on the barrel and then ran this uh, flat sock through it so theoretically you can move the fan in and out and then in the summer season where you're not using it you can pull these arms out and then there's almost 
There's like three and a half feet, almost four feet of space between the stove and the wall. So in the off season, we can store stuff here and it's not a wasted space. Um, but I mean, you're getting a lot of heat out of the tubes. The thermometer isn't the most accurate. Uh, so that's three, three thirty, three twenty, and it's showing a little under about three two hundred and seventy five. So uh, I guess that twelve dollars thermometer is not the best. <laughs> 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 but uh, so I mean it's. I think it's starting to cool off a little bit. I have to throw some more wood in there. But, uh, so it's been about an hour and we're about 56 degrees now in the shop. 28. So, Granted, it's not freezing outside, but, um, you know, it's doing its thing. The old chimney, I mean, you can see it, but we're pretty much smoke free. So it's uh, a fairly clean burn, which is good. I'm put Crazy Quaddy's information down below in the description. I will put the stove build if you're interested in that. Um, I'll put the stove build down in the description also. Um, if you want to watch that movie or video, I guess. Um, I will put the, the parts I used down in the description below. I bought these locally. Um, I think you can find them on Amazon. Um, so if I can find those on there, I'll put them down below. Um, those will be an affiliate link. So if you uh, buy those, um, I will get a little bit of, I guess, commission or something off of it. I don't really know for sure uh, how that works. But uh, yeah, so we appreciate you guys sticking around and watching. We hope you stick around for the next one. I'll see you in a little bit. Stay safe.